media plays a huge part in, you know, making diversity and inclusion really, really sexy. It's the new buzzword now. You know, every company says, oh, you know, yes, we are diverse and inclusive and, you know, we do a lot of outreach work and we do a lot of community work, et cetera, and et cetera. But there's more to there's more to being diverse and inclusive than just having it on your website. There's more to being diverse and inclusive than just saying this is what we do and this is how we go about doing it. It's actually about living and breathing and understanding what diverse, what being diverse means and what being inclusive means. And for me, what I have found over the years is that it's very easy for people to jump on the bandwagon and this is quite, it's quite common in most, corpor in most corporates in that people go, yes, well, you know, being diverse and inclusive means, you know, we need to get more people of colour or we need to get more women or we need to get more people who have disabilities or, you know, we need to get more people who have, you know, who are not necessarily of that particular sexual orientation. And, 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 that's, and that's perfectly fine. But for you to truly understand what it is to be from a minority or from a particular demographic, you need to understand that person's journey. 